Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and for any of you who might be new, my name is Joanna Thornton. I post videos every Sunday and Thursday, mostly on cleaning motivation. So for those of you who have been following along with me for a while, you know I'm not the best at keeping a routine every single day, but I'm trying to get better about doing simple things that are going to help prepare me better for the next day. So this particular night, I was actually really tired and not really feeling it, but once I started cleaning, I really got into the groove of things, and I cannot tell you how good it felt to wake up the next morning with a clean main area of my house. Forgot that feeling, the sun in my face, it's so well needed, life will take care of the rest, biking alone in the sunset, through the canals so the mindset I needed, yeah I needed, oh let's freeze time, gather around, watch the sun go down, oh in summertime. These windows are just magnets for little fingerprints and handprints and honestly I kind of love it sometimes. I feel like these days aren't going to last forever and I know they technically shouldn't be putting their hands on the windows but it's also kind of cute to see the little handprints. But it does mean I'm always cleaning the windows. I will say my kids love to quote unquote help me clean the windows so I always take that help but I do have to come behind them a good bit. But I don't know if you can tell in this first window, it, I didn't show it when I was filming, but I wiped it first with a microfiber towel and then I came back with paper towels because I don't like using microfiber towels on windows. I feel like they just don't work well. I like them on my countertops and stuff, but I have yet to find one that works really well on windows and mirrors. I will say, I heard somebody say you can find some good ones at Home Depot. I haven't looked there yet, but I definitely need to because these paper towels are being used a ton and I know it's wasteful and I get some hate for it, but they just work the best. Triple A, credits are right. Hang up the phone and let your heart break on the inner lane. 24 twice, she's on the phone but she's staying on Will Sharp Boulevard, old dreams dying hard He wants you to return this love Breathing in the dark, weightless, working hard He wants you to return his love So I know I've been sharing with y'all about my dishwasher and how it either leaves a soapy smell or it leaves the dishes soaking wet after the cycle is done. And I will say those little pods from Costco so far are working really, really well. But also 
I had another suggestion in my comments to make sure that you avoid putting bowls on the bottom because sometimes it's hard for the water to reach the top shelf. So I didn't know that before this. I maybe had heard it before, but I never like stuck to it. So in my next load of the dishwasher, I'm gonna make sure I put bowls on the top and see if that makes a difference too. Sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages, show only the good sides. Always pretty smart. There really is something so calming about cleaning after the kids are in bed. I think because my day is full of interruptions, and they're not always bad, but just full of interruptions, and really there's never any time that I'm left alone. And so when I'm cleaning at night, I know that my kids are sound asleep, they're happy, they're content, and I am alone. And it feels so good to just clean. And I know Mark was running around doing things here and there too, but he doesn't really need me for anything. And there's just something about that that makes it feel like the cleaning is more manageable. What if we stay right here? Make everything
I like to dump my mop bucket water outside when I'm done. Is that weird? Where do y'all dump your mop bucket water? I probably used to do it in the bathtub, I want to say, or maybe the sink when we had a garbage disposal in our last house. But for some reason, I feel like with us being on a septic tank, everything is so finicky. So I just dump it outside. I don't know. That's probably so weird. I am also very much a list person. I love to make to-do lists. I love making lists of things that I need to buy. And I find that I stay more on top of my to-do list when my house is clean. So typically I'll make a list for the next day, everything that I want to get done. But if my house is messy and I go to bed, I typically don't make a list or even think about the next day. So it's like a double bonus when my house is clean. I have definitely been spending a good bit more time in really all of our bathrooms ever since Bo has been potty trained, which is totally fine because I'm just so thankful that he learned so quickly, but with all of his independence comes some messes sometimes, so I just try to wipe down that half bathroom at least once a day. And then another thing that I try to do at least once a day is a load of laundry, if not two loads a day, just to keep up with things because we wear a lot of clothes. We have a pretty big family. So I find that I am just such a happier person when I really stay in a cleaning routine every single night, like cleaning up the kitchen, the living room, sweeping the floors. I don't mop every single night for sure, but there's just something about waking up to a clean main floor area that's just so relaxing and calming and it helps the day go by so much better. So I really try to stick to this routine at night when I know that I want to have more productive days. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know that you watched all the way till the end. I love you guys so much and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. You got something Something I can never be without, yeah I'm in your command